If one were to fly a drone over Peru's high desert, one would witness trapezoids, triangles, and a variety of other geometric formations. These enormous geometric shapes have avian, insect, and other biological features. The renowned Nazca lines were first uncovered in the 1920s. There are about 800 straight lines and 300 geometrical shapes in total. Since their discovery, archaeologists have been researching these lines, and they still do so today. Many Dead Sea animals were discovered here as a result of excavation, which first perplexed biologists. Because Nazca is a rain-deprived desert 1,710 feet above sea level. According to local legend, these dead marine animals are part of a ritual to summon rain. But Nazca is far more mysterious than this, though. There is more to hear than meets the eye. And now, AI is here to decode that mystery. So, in this video today, we'll discuss how AI is solving the mystery behind Nazca lines and what it has got so far. Yamagata University academics in Japan have found more than 100 new geoglyphs in the past 10 or so years alone. To more effectively apply artificial intelligence and identify geoglyphs, they have now teamed up with technology behemoth IBM. To this day, scientists from all around the world spend years uncovering the secret markings on the soil. Numerous hypotheses have been put forth regarding the origin of these mysterious markings. At the Nazca Pampa, 142 new geoglyphs depicting people, animals, and other beings were found by a Yamagata University research team under the direction of Professor Masato Sakai, Cultural Anthropology, and Dian Archaeology. It is believed that the biomorphic geoglyphs date from at least 100 BC to AD 300. In addition, the university uncovered one new geoglyph in a feasibility study conducted in 2018 and 2019 with IBM Japan by building an AI model on the AI server IBM Power System AC922 setup using the deep learning platform IBM Watson Machine Learning Community Edition, formerly known as IBM Power AI. One of those discoveries that gave rise to many conspiracy theories, from extraterrestrials to supernatural creatures, was the discovery of the Nazca Lines in Peru. This particular area of Peru gained notoriety for having enigmatic landmarkings, the size of which might be appreciated using a drone or by climbing a hill. These paintings, or geoglyphs, as they are often known, have been the subject of much research to understand the ancient mental processes and other secrets ever since their discovery in the 1920s. The researchers could complete it in two months using AI, whereas earlier methods took many years. The human form that was discovered using AI tools is around 5 meters, 16 feet, tall. Researchers from IBM Japan have discovered a new figure among the ancient themes of Peru's Nazca lines using machine learning for the first time. The geoglyph was created by removing the Nazca Desert's dark stones to reveal the white sand below. It is estimated that the geoglyph dates to between 100 BC and 500 AD. The goal of modern science is to increase productivity while also finding and examining new geoglyphs. Researchers have so far found hundreds of these figurines using distant hyperspectral sensing in photos from satellites or drones. Pairs Geoscope is a technology designed specifically for analyzing massive amounts of geospatial temporal data. This platform was also used for crop identification, irrigation management, and monitoring plant growth near power lines. Traditional archaeological methods would take months to complete, but with IBM's assistance, researchers were able to complete the task in a matter of months. Because using pairs, the same tasks and analyses should take minutes. The Geoscope and AI give an exceptional capacity to analyze sizable datasets from various sources, including drone photographs and satellite images. The geoglyph's precise function is still a mystery. In the 1940s, while American scholar Paul Kosak was studying these geoglyphs, he observed the sunset coincide exactly with the line. The 310 square mile area of the high desert was referred to by Kosak as the largest astronomy book in the world. Later, the German Maria Reich spent 40 years studying these lines and steadfastly defending her beliefs regarding the line's astronomical and calendrical functions. She had to fight to keep the site from being destroyed due to ignorance. Because on-site research typically requires decades of study, protecting such sites becomes essential. Ancient art is a window into the culture and methods of our predecessors. The researchers seek to expedite the process and answer more questions by incorporating deep learning algorithms into archaeological studies. 
Using this method, scientists are led to nothing but the most well-known form of universal communication, the star constellation. Nevertheless, our highest degree of intelligence is in mathematics. All that is needed is simple addition and subtraction, as well as simple counting. Knowing this alone unlocks all of Peru's geoglyphs, and the biggest secret in the world is no longer a mystery. It is currently a part of our human history. At Nazca, the sun sign has 16 cardinal directions. And once you realize this, you realize that every single thing on the aircraft has a location or a destination. The AI decoding found some parallels between the monkey and the Big Dipper. Researchers, with the help of AI, also noticed that some lines converge toward the sunrise on the southern hemisphere's winter solstice. Additionally, they discovered an alignment with the summer solstice and suggested that some figures matched star forms. The first image we come across in Nazca is of a small bird, which is meant to symbolize flight. Each glyph has a code, and the code determines the language's final destination. At Nazca, there is a wide area of ground that resembles an obelisk drawing. For our forefathers, it had no significance, but for us today, it does. It is unmistakably a runway for aircraft. Additionally, all of these glyphs suggest that understanding flight is required to decipher this code. The sketch of a large bird is one of Nazca's best-known works of art. Here is the hint, you can distinguish one of the bird's feet from the other by looking at them attentively. There are more bumblebee toes on one leg than the other, as you can see. And therein lies the hint. By revealing this small bird, the entire plane will become accessible. This bird should only have six toes or talons, not nine. It cannot be a bird because it has nine talons. This is a constellation. If this bird has a human handprint on it, it was made by a human. It is the Aquila constellation. It looks like a bird from above. It is an old constellation that has survived into our day. We now understand why this is the case because these two birds are identical and were modeled after stars in the constellation. Nine bird toes represent the nine star constellations required to form this artificial bird in the sky. Another geoglyph depicts a different bird. And what distinguishes this book from others is that each foot has precisely the same number of appendages, indicating that the location of our clue was elsewhere in its wings. The purpose of these elongated wings is to catch your eye. One simply needs to count each feather once it gets your attention. You will discover that there are 11 after counting, indicating that this is the constellation of Columbia, a feathered bird that is also a bird in the universe. Yes, there are 11 stars in the Columbia constellation, which is a match for its feathers if you count them. Everything in this universe was made with the stars in mind. If all of this seems too unlikely, have patience you will witness an overwhelming confirmation of the reality that will usher in a new era of interspecies communication. Perhaps at Nazca, you saw a straightforward depiction of a monkey. It's a unique monkey. It is obvious from its tail. Its tail has a spiral galaxy-like appearance. The clue is there. This glyph will be decoded by AI. Looking at its hands, one has five fingers like a human, while the other has only four. Have you ever seen a monkey with one hand having five fingers and the other having four? There are only three toes on each foot. A monkey with two feet, three toes on each, five fingers on one hand, four on the other, and two feet has 15 appendages. The constellation of the monkey has 15 appendages. There is no end to the communication of the celestial constellations. The purpose of this entire level is to let us realize that to escape this planet, we must become global. We have to communicate in a universal language. But why? Is there a major event on the horizon? Are these signals coming from aliens or going to them? On this, AI is still working. Just keep an eye out for more fascinating details. And drop your thoughts about this in the comments section below.